Welcome, folks. Welcome to Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. I'm going to be saying that a lot because I love this title. So far, I've posted up two videos of this game. One was the introduction, where you could vote on the character and see the nice little intro to the game. The other one was where I showed you the lore of the lands, and Mr. Patrick Stewart told you a little bit about the history of the setting, Gladstone in particular. Um, for now, we're going to start a new game. There has been some votes, um, about 200 views on the video, but only about 30 votes. And by nose length, I think Axial won. It's currently like 17 to 14, something like that. So... I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? It shall be Axial, uh, the wizard, the magician, who is very skilled in the magic of the lands. Do my looks frighten you? Magic runs strong amongst my people. I may not seem as strong as the others, but I'm more adept with the magic of the lands. You have been chosen, literally. Excellent! Settle your affairs and attend me in the throne room for instructions. Aye aye, Captain. Here we go. It actually needs to load a little bit. Welcome to Gladstone Keep. Thank you. King Richard awaits you in the throne room. He'll have to wait a little bit longer. First, let's get our affairs in order. Game controls. I want the monsters to be the highest difficulty level that we can find. Not because I'm awesome at this game. It's not that hard. But um, this way we'll get more experience. Our characters, currently our character, can level up further before the game is all said and done. Because we'll meet more tougher and more... Uh, more opponents in general. I also want subtitles on. English is not my native language, as you can probably tell by the hideous accent. And I want spoken word as well as uh, written text. With that out of the way, I want the music to be slightly louder because the music in this game is so damn good. It's, it's well deserved to put the volume up a bit. And of course we'll save the game. I already uh, made this little save game here. Let's play one. We'll be saving quite a bit. Now, Let's first go through the interface here a bit, so you know what I'm doing constantly. Uh, this is the screen you'll be looking at. Eventually here, um, other options will come into play. For now, this is what we have. We have 41 silver crowns. Yes, you can become filthy rich in this game. There are shops. You can buy stuff, you can sell stuff. It's all very nice, very neat. This is the inventory. Currently we have one salve that we can uh, smear on wounds. One LOA, or LO, I think it's called, and one Gingseng. Uh, all of these are quite handy, they can heal you up, and I think this one here cures poison as well, so we'll hang on to them. Um, we have weapons to fight with, and we can also cast magic, but I don't really want to do that in Gladstone Keep. Uh, well, I can show you what happens if we do. This is a guard. Let's attack the guard with magic. He doesn't like that. It took my weapon. And disarms us and then kills us. Yeah, these, these guys are pretty damn tough, so that's probably not a good idea. Um, we can use the arrow keys here to move across the map. I can do the mouse or my keyboard with it. I prefer to use the keyboard most of the time, and I will try to move slowly. Akshel, yes. were you not summoned to see the king? Yeah, yeah. Go back straight north into the throne room. In a second, I'm just showing the guys at home how this works. And this case is, of course, is, is, this game is of course pretty ha exploration heavy. Um, you have to walk around, explore the world, click on things, and luckily you can click on pretty much anything. The forest below appears tranquil, and often even twice. Is that bird looking for a place to land? Yes, it's, it's very observant, Axel. Uh, you can see two bars next to our um, face here. One is hit points, 28 of 28, that is uh, the one to the right. And we have magic points, currently 32, which is a lot already to start out with. I can click on our face and we get to, um, well, what Axel is wearing currently, uh, which is not a lot. We're a dracoid, you can see we have a little tail here, and long fingers, and big ears. Uh, we don't have a helmet, we don't have any jewelry, we don't have any braces, we don't have a shield. We do have a shirt. Which gives us a little bit of protection and a mighty dagger, which improves our might here ever so slightly, and some sandals, which also add a whopping one to the protection. And you can see here our skills; none of them have been used much. The more we use them, the more we'll get better at uh, that particular stat. The Gladstone Crest. Gold threads sparkle through the thick red yarn. And everything is spoken, and the voice acting is very nice. 
The kingdom looks deceptively peaceful, but soft. What evil through yonder forest shows. You're quite the poet, aren't you? Let's uh, click into give. This is a door, you have to open them to step through. And this is pretty much the central area of Gladstone Keep. Nice little fountain. The hidden plumbing seems miraculous. This must be fed by an artesian well. I'm not much of a plumber, so I'll take your word for it. There are some doors here you can explore, but I guess we first have to uh, go to the king. I think most of these are actually locked. The door is locked. Yes. Jaren Oberoff, royal chamberlain. Ugh. He's an, a bit of a nasty man, but uh, you'll find that out in due time. I think this is the way to... Yes, the throne room. His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. I have been so informed multiple times, thank you. We come barging in, here we go. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Arkham. Hello! Because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Okay. Retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Thank you. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the keep. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. Yeah, he seems all nice nice now. This is Jaren, but uh, trust me, he's a complete ass. The throne door is locked. Okay, they don't want us back in there apparently. We'll uh, let these men step back. Yes. And we'll find our way to that library. I know the way in this game pretty well. I don't think I'll need a walkthrough for this. Richard's great-grandfather Ludwig, 73rd heir to the throne. Wow, this kingdom has been around for quite a bit. Now this is great. This is um, a part of the pri private library. One of these books is the Magic Atlas. But the other ones are a little bit of background story to the game, and well, I'm a big fan of that kind of thing. So we'll go through these books quite meticulously. And I think this one, if I remember correctly, is mostly history of the lands. And so it came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magics, rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. Yeah, this whole thing came to be because of a white alliance, as they called it, where the four major races joined together. Humans, uh, Hulines, Thomgogs, and of course our own guy here with his people. Um, what's it called again? A Dracoid, I think? Thus it happened that King Andrew, 13th heir to the throne of Gladstone, descended into the depths of the Irbish Highlands, and there the Shard of Truth called unto Andrew, and he was smitten by its righteousness. The Shard of Truth. We're looking for the Ruby of Truth, but uh, apparently there's a little cousin out there in the world as well. For three times twenty generations, the people languished in darkness, until Sir Michel Robard unearthed the Ruby of Truth. Verily it is written that the stone spoke unto Robard, and Robard offered up the ruby unto the heir of the throne of Gladstone. Okay, no information really there on where we should go. But the king gave us uh, Roland Estate as our first place to visit, so we'll just uh, keep on trucking there. But let's read a bit more. Only once has the ruby and the shard been combined. Ah. Truth was unbound, and all known forms of deceit were unveiled. And this unveiling wreaked havoc upon the denizens of the netherworld. And the nether beasts withdrew from the lands. And it was good. And a great peace fell upon the lands. And this too was good. This is quite crucial information, really. I mean, the Ruby of Truth, if you combine it with the Shard of Truth, can be used to see through all illusions and delusions and, and trickery and forgery. And since Scotia, that evil witch that you saw in the introduction, currently has a shape changer, I can imagine why the king wants this little toy currently in his possession. And so it came to pass. Okay, thank you. 
because we already have that one. Uh, this is... I don't remember. Let's check it out. For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. That's a nice one. It's a journey that matters, after all. The city of Wyville is home to a wonderful little pub full of personable folk. Bruno's Lodge offers a wide range of fine vintages. Cabernets from the Wyvel Valley and Chardonnays from the Irbish Highlands. Bruno also carries a splendid selection of ales imported from the finest breweries in the lands. Well, we'll make a point of visiting that. I do like my wines and I do like my ales. I think this is uh, an almanac on the best places to spend the night or have a beer in the lands. The Grey Eagle Inn, nestled in a Southland Glen, exudes country charm. Tyrus McCubbin has a knack for turning common roast boar into a fantastic hunter's stew. Yum. The Grey Eagle's few rooms are seldom vacant, so send word ahead if you wish to stay at this quaint inn. I'll trust my luck on that matter, but it uh, sounds lovely. Though we travel the world over to find the beautiful, we must carry it with us, or we find it not. That one is truly nice. Grisbald's rusty gate warrants a second look from visitors to this farming community. Large pints and small fees keep the clientele quite content. The farm fresh food enhances the taste of even the simplest of meals. I want to visit all of these. I hope you're with me on that account. If you are traveling through the lands, be sure to stop at these fine inns and rest your bones. That we shall. Let's go on to the next book. Maybe this is the Magic Atlas. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. I think this is uh, the book of uh, really good tips that you should follow on your journey. An emerald blade can be of great assistance when dealing with the long dead. Uh -huh. It is said that these tired souls despise being disturbed, but no longer fear the threat of plain iron. An emerald blade is very good against the no longer living. That means either undead, I guess, or ghosts, something like that. Let's make a mental note of that one. The reputed powers of valence cubes appear highly exaggerated. Surely no object could truly drain the magic essence from a living being. Well, if it's in this book um, presented in such a manner, I guess it kind of can. The Gorka, while fierce warriors, are actually quite civil creatures. Their love of trade is well known amongst peddlers. Gorka, okay. So if you approach them friendly, they'll be friendly to us, according to, to this book, at least. Never drink from underground Okay, thank waters. you. We already had that one. Then this has to be... The Magic Atlas. Thank you, that was right on cue. I think this uh, cooperation between uh, the two of us is going to go quite well. This is the Magic Atlas, and I'll just have a quick uh, round around the room and show you how it works. It will make a map from everywhere we go from this point on. It will do it in a nice, clean fashion, which is um, well, it's quite easy to just spot at a glance where you are and where you need to go. Currently, all we know about the entire room is just... Uh, sorry, about the entire world is just this room. But uh, the, the maps will grow as um, we move through the world. Um, real quickly, let me get back to the throne room, for instance. Have you found the Ruby of Truth? Dude, I was here I a minute ago. Questions for His Majesty. You are not to be admitted without the Ruby. Well, that's, that's strict and harsh, but fine. I just wanted to show the map to um, my dear viewers here. Yeah, you can see you have a nice little... Um, I don't know the English word for it, but here you can see what stuff is. Uh, you can see doors, you can see niches and buttons and levers. Uh, buttons and levers are also shown um, when it, it, it's about a keyhole. Let's see, no books in this one. The forest below appears tranquil. The early Talamari were mounted warriors. Early spells inspired their mounts. Yeah, magic has kept this land safe for quite a while, but now it's being threatened by magic. I think we have to uh, get by past uh, Jaren here and get that writ. Um, I don't really like this particular encounter, but it's necessary. Uh, it's a bit of foreknowledge that I have, but this man really just pisses me off. Oh, it's you. The impending storm attracts all you would-be heroes. Arr. Now, 
I suppose you want your writ. Well, you're the guy who promised us one. Look, even the beasts seek shelter. Yeah, no, this is evil finding evil. Use your own maps. Those are mine. Friendly, isn't he? What are you waiting for? Be gone. He's such a bastard. If I want you to touch something of mine, me, I'll me, ask you. Me. Fine, we'll if you go. Need help. Mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. Well, at least he has some useful stuff uh, for us. These are the first two shops in the game. This is... Royal Herborium. Okay, herbs and stuff. Shh. Did you hear something? If Scotia does attack, they say we won't hear a thing. Quickly now. Point out what you need. That bird, by the way, in the other room was quite obvious, right? It, I think you know that that particular bird was foreshadowing once again. That's aloe. Rub the leaf on wounds to heal them. Would you like to buy a leaf? Bit five a, crowns! Bit of a jittery fella, aren't you? And that five crowns at the end was downright creepy. I prescribed ginseng to neutralize poisons and soothe injuries. Would you like to buy a root? That is a ten crown donation. No, thank you. That salve is a secret Gorka recipe for healing. That is a 20 crown donation. 20 crowns? My god, that's half my money. Gorka, we've just been reading about them. Uh, no thank you, I'm, I'm almost broke as it is. Those are only experimental ingredients. Yeah, don't experiment too much. You already look like you've uh, been on a few bad trips, maybe. They say the ruby and the shard are the only means of opposing the nether mask. I actually read the same thing. They say the ruby Well, uh, thank you, my friend. It's a nice then. little shop you're running, but uh, nothing useful for me here at this point. There might be something useful here. I don't usually step into shops naked, but I think we can sell some stuff here. Oh, so you come to see Victor? Yes. Afraid of Scotia's new toy? A little bit. <laughs> Why afraid? Look at Victor. Myself could use a shape changer. <laughs> Dude, you... You show okay. Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell. Okay? This is Victor. He's a simple soul. Uh, but it's, uh... Well, he gets a good laugh out of everything. I make even this wheel with these two hands. Well, they look like some powerful hands. That one a weapon right for you. Sixty crowns. He's right, too. I want that weapon. You need that mate? Forty crown. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Excellent weapon! One hundred and twenty-five crown. Actually, I want that one, too. I could sell some stuff and get the rapier uh, right out of the bat, but if I wait, I think I have to explore the forest outside and then get back to Victor here. I think I can buy this, uh, this awesome blade here. You have a thing to sell Victor? No, not yet. Now is not the time for training apprentice. Need one dagger? No, 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 thank you. For now we'll you just leave it at this, because I, I no. kinda want the, the big sword here. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I was coming here uh, for the rapier, but... Uh, I changed my mind. Victor Glaston. Royal Armory. There's one other mechanic in this game. If you use your magic, or if you get hurt, you can uh, heal. And these swords, for instance, here, are a good way to show it. Fine swords. Impressive decorations. Sharp, too. This is what happens if you get hit. Sharp, too. You can see at the bottom here that it shows a hit point being lost. Sharp, too. It can go up uh, to like 20 hit points in a hit. Sharp, too. And you can see my health declining. Now you can just click this button here. You make a camp and lie down to rest, and then your magic and health uh, recharges. You can do that anywhere you like, folks. You can just pitch your tent in the middle of Gladstone Keep, in the middle of a forest, in the middle of a town. People don't seem to mind. Um, and, and all you have to do is wait. Of course, if you make camp in an unsafe place, then it might happen that your sleep gets interrupted by the local wildlife, bad guys, thugs, you name it, and you'll have to fight your way out. Now. We've seen Gladstone Keep. This is a rather small area, I know, but uh, it's a nice little start. We're going off into the forest now. Into the wild. And this is where uh, the music really kicks in. It's gonna be pretty awesome. 
just exploring this forest, listening to these old tunes again, because it's making me all nostalgic already. I will do that in the next video, though. I'm thinking 20-minute videos are the order of the day, so um, I hope you liked this particular uh, introduction to the game. In the next one, we'll explore... What's the name of this place again? The Northland Forest. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.